remember days Before I went away Way back in the hills of old Vermont And the orchard on the hill I think I see it still Way back in the hills of old Vermont Constance Craig and I'm hosting an art market in my yard with my roommates and neighbors. I'm here and I do watercolor illustration prints of women in fantasy scenes. Hi, my name is Julia Blanding. My shop is called Athena Weaves and I've been knitting since I was a kid. I like to knit a lot of tank tops and catnip mice, but I knit everything under the sun. Hi, I make resin jars with local flowers and glitter in them and my shop is Petra Flora on Instagram. Hi, my name is Cassidy Sargen. I run Silverstream Jewelry, soon becoming Silverstream Hoops. Um, I've been running it for about 10 to 12 years now and I'm located here in Burlington, Vermont. I have some macrame jewelry that I've made right here and I have some collages that I've been working on. Hi everyone, I'm Emma. I'm a local uh, community member here in the Old North End and parent to a now first grader here at Sustainability Academy. And today at the Ramble, we're filling the fence out here with love because back in May, the third graders at Sustainability Academy made this great banner, um, all of their own doing, that said hate has no place here. And it hung for a good almost month. And then the day before school ended for the school year, somebody ripped it down and ripped it down as an act of hate. So we're filling up the fence today as a community to say we stand with the third graders and their work and we want to fill this space with love and say we stand up to hate and it has no place in the Old North End. We're here today at the One World Market, part of the Ramble in the Old North End of Burlington. My name is Samantha McGinnis. I'm with the City of Burlington. We're welcoming about 30 local artists here today, as well as food vendors, nonprofits, and artists. I'm going to pass it off to my colleague, Will. Hey, how's it going? I'm Will Clavel, also from the City of Burlington. Thanks for joining us at the One World Market. We've been hosting this event since 2013. It's a really great test market opportunity for local artists and makers. We've got about 30 artists and three food vendors from cooking up food from Somalia, Ethiopia, and Iraq. And we're so happy to have Juniper Creative this year joining us. They got this great mural going on in the background and Addie can tell you a little bit more about what's going on here. Hey, I'm Addie Livingston. I work for Champlain Housing Trust. We are the owners of the Old North End Community Center building. And we've been working for the last year with folks at Juniper Creative to fundraise and get this mural going. And Juniper Creative is here to talk a little bit about their piece. Hi. Hi, Hi Jennifer Herrera Condre of Juniper Creative Arts. I'm Will Caso Cadre of Juniper Creative Arts. I'm supposed to look into the camera. I don't know, but uh, that's all I want to do. <laughs> I'm Alexa Herrera Condre, a part of Juniper Creative Arts. So what you're looking at is Moringa, the medicine woman, who is part of our Afro pollinator series, which started with Kalise the Afronaut, which lives at Champlain Elementary School down on Pine Street. As far as we're just having a great time. We believe in promoting art for a community and black joy. A lot of black joy going on, on that wall. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> We're excited to be out here today collaborating with uh, Addie Livingston from Champlain Housing Trust and um, the whole team organizing the Ramble to uh, 
to be here. So folks in this corner have been able to paint shapes all day. They're still painting shapes that we're collaging into the wings of the Luna Moth. And that is an opportunity for the community to be able to contribute to the art making process. I am Jeannie Wells. I am one of the people that helps organize the Rambo and I'm here having fun, Charlie. Silly question. So how's the day, how's the day going? Today's going fantastic. Thus far, knocking on wood, no problems. Um, Decatur Fest, well attended, totally packed. Live music pretty much the entire time somewhere. DJs right now. Um, yeah, lots of, I, I didn't get to go on it, but Preservation Burlington raised $200 today on their walk. There are over 60 people that attended their tour. Uh, 30 people showed up for yoga in the park, and the garden tour was a huge hit as well. Lots of attendance this so year. I know this, this ramble was probably more hectic than most of the rambles. So, mm, yeah. So did this meet up to your expectations for what was going to happen today? Well, it's not over yet, so I can't really say. <laughs> but so far, so good. So was it more difficult to organize this event than in the past? We had to learn some new tricks. We be, we actually established a, a incorporated nonprofit organization um, and did all those grown-up things like we got a bank account stuff like that and that's been a challenge you know just managing a lot of paperwork and dealing with lawyers and legal stuff but it's worth it because it, one of our missions is to pay the talent and everybody that would be compensated for their creative contributions to the Rambo would have to be 1099 and that is kind of like insult because it's not like we have a ton of money to give them in the first place but did you know who else is here? Have you had, do you see any familiar faces? <laughs> yes, I do. Heather, <laughs> um, formerly Driscoll, is here, also uh, co-creator of the Ramble. What do you think? I am absolutely blown away. Uh, it's the most beautiful thing to see. This would be the Ramble's 18th year. Yes. Right? Yeah. Um, You're the only the one that knows how to. Because 2020, right. we didn't have it. But the community just showing up just as I arrived in the Old North End today to see so many people walking around enjoying the community, enjoying what the community has to offer, just made my heart really warm and Jeannie's done an incredible job year after year after year since running the Ramble and just I'm really excited to be here and I plan to enjoy everything the Ramble has to offer. Good job. Heather's Steve. stamp of approval means a lot to me. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. This neighborhood. Hi, uh, this is Chris welcoming you to Decatur Street, where we're having our umpteenth annual Decatur Street Fest, which is part of the Ramble. Um, last year, we obviously took a hiatus, but this year, um, because Ber Vermont's been so good at uh, vaccination, we've been able to do our street festival again. The theme of it is bubbles. Um, and we, um, if you um, come down the street, we wanted to do bubbles because we've all sort of been living in our bubbles and we're kind of out of our bubbles now and we're trying to um, live safely around each other again and, and, and experience summer and, um, and all of the creativity that comes with the old North End. This one has to have, you have to help by picking it up with your hands too. Pick up the fish. We have to use this fishing pole, it works better. What did you see? Yeah, I'm right. 